Uh, hi, this is Jared. Uh, this video is for the business of the built environment for the uh, University of Denver Executive uh, Real Estate and Construction Management uh, degree program. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is just how to prepare a rough order of magnitude um, estimate, explain a little bit about the process that uh, you would take and, and sort of how you would approach it um, in the initial stages of uh, estimating a project. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this and um, I'm not going to say that I believe that I'm totally right. I'm just going to show you a method that uh, how I would approach it and uh, and some of the techniques that I use to uh, understand what the cost might be and, and more importantly how to quantify the estimate in a way that it can be uh, easily understood by uh, either a contractor or a project manager on the for the uh, developer side or even uh, as a in-house use uh, from a from an architecture standpoint um, how we would use this this type of, of estimate so the first thing that i'm going to show on the screen here is um, the property that we're dealing with um, this happens to be a uh, uh, a hotel development that I'm currently working on and trying to get an estimate of cost for the entire site uh, construction for for the hotel so I think the first thing to do and the, and the most important thing is to start to quantify the areas that you're working with so that uh, when people look at your estimate they understand exactly where the uh, the totals are coming from and uh, and what the areas represent on the uh, on the estimate. So if you zoom in here, not to give too much of an architectural presentation on this, but basically you'll see things like the arrival court area, uh, the hotels and residence area, which is you know all of these uh, building units here. Um, you'll see things on the estimate that says you know quiet pool, which is you know one of the uh, pool area spaces of the hotel, the two meal restaurant, which is the, the signature restaurant uh, venue of the project. Um, this is actually labeled wrong. It should say uh, family pool, but this is another uh, pool area space of the project. Um, and then we've got uh, other aspects of the project, which is the, uh, the spa, uh, kids, kids area, you know, the town center and banquet hall. So, you know, this is really the first step in my mind of uh, how you start to prepare this type of order of magnitude um, estimate is, is quantifying the areas that you're going to be looking at, identifying distinct boundaries in each of those areas so that you know that you're not uh, doubling up on, uh, on cost and that you've covered everything um, on the site. So this type of a graphic is something that we would put together for the client that illustrates uh, what we're estimating and how we're quantifying it. Uh, just a little bit about some of the colors and stuff. You know, we're identifying different types of uh, material finishes. Obviously, the the road is one material. The arrival court is a different type of material. All of the pathways and accesses to the units are another material. In this case, probably concrete. And then. Um, you know, being a landscape architect, we have uh, various different types of landscape treatments. So those are all identified in, in various colors of, uh, of green on, on the plan. And there would be different costs associated with each of those types of uh, landscapes. Uh, the pool areas are simply just the square footage of uh, the uh, size of the, the pools and then the hardscape spaces um, around that. Um, and then, you know, for the sake of the estimate, we've thrown in sort of an, uh, trees in here to, uh, to give an overall kind of count on how many trees would be used on this project. Again, this is very conceptual and, uh, and you know, relatively quick. I'm not going to say this is easy to produce, but uh, it's something that we would do within, you know, a couple of days to uh, get an idea of project cost. So the next thing to do is uh, if I jump over to the estimate just to give you a, a, a snapshot of, of the estimate um, you can see it starts with the project entry road and there's a category of uh, all the costs associated with the project entry road uh, the next area is the the arrival court and then you know you scroll down to you know each of the different areas that we saw on the other on the uh, diagram hotel residence units the uh, the quiet pool, 
uh, two meal restaurant. So each of those areas is broken out in this um, spreadsheet. And, you know, I chose to organize and group the spreadsheet, um, you know, by area so that uh, you could quickly look at what's the total cost of just the family pool space, the total cost of the uh, quiet pool space, uh, uh, and so on. So the next step of, of what, how I approach this is to go over and, and create a separate tab that's called a prices uh, tab. And this is broken down by the different materials. So you've got, and you know, these numbers here are sort of my own references to uh, uh, calling out things on the plan. Uh, you could very easily substitute these numbers for uh, the uh, uh, master format uh, division numbers and specific material numbers, which would be a very good way of organizing it. I just tend to use a system which is a little bit simpler uh, and, and not tied to master format. Um, but then each of the, you know, the prices tab is also color coded. So you can quickly look and see wood boardwalks and decks versus hardscape numbers, um, you know, site, site walls, metals, lighting, landscape, drainage elements, um, site structures, pools, and then it gets down all the way into, uh, site furnishings, um, individual pieces of, uh, furniture. So each of these areas is, is quantified and broken out by um, a, a different color-coded area. And then just zooming in here really quickly, you start to look here, there's cobblestone paving type A. And then it's got a brief description of you know, what that paving might be. So for instance, we've got cobblestone paving A, which is a vehicular grade paving, cobblestone paving B, which is pedestrian grade. And um, there's a cost associated with that by a, a, on a square meters basis of uh, 250 versus $200 uh, dollars a square meter. Um, so each of these different materials are broken down with uh, you know a brief description associated with it. Uh, travertine, exposed aggregate concrete. We've got some asphalt. Gets into steps with split face sandstone steps. So that would be your hardscape costs. And then site walls, you know, natural stone versus an architectural stone wall. This would be the difference between a, a, a cut and honed finished piece of stone set onto a concrete wall versus a natural stone wall, which is, is simply just a, a stacked wall, uh, raw stones being, being stacked up um, together. Um, so th those are broken out for, for walls. Um, lighting. In this case, we've done just a general assumption of lighting for public spaces that at $2,500 a fixture. And uh, that, that would include sort of everything that goes into that fixture, the wiring, getting power to that thing, and uh, any sort of a transformer. Uh, so it's really just an allowance number as a per fixture uh, cost. Because again, this is at the very early stage of project estimating. Um, and then you go down to, you know, landscape costs. We've got several different types of areas on this project. We've got native desert versus lush desert, uh, an oasis landscape versus a beach landscape. And then within each of these costs, we've got sort of a high, medium, low, and then a very low number uh, for each of the various landscape uh, types on the project and the numbers accordingly uh, on, a, on a square meter basis. So this prices tab is something that I'll set up and then continue to modify or add comments into that thing about, uh, you know, what these different, uh, you know, landscapes or for instance, you know, here, uh, it's got some assumptions on, on, on height, you know, agricultural walls, they're one meter high for a, for a natural stone wall. So it's got some, a little bit of specification information included in it. And then um, just scroll down to, uh, you know, you look at the uh, the pools. We've got a mosaic tile pool versus a, a sand bottom pool. Um, and, you know, a little bit about the spec on it. It's got a mosaic tile finish, or in this case, we're saying it could be a marble dust finish. And it's estimated at 700 bucks a square meter versus the sand bottom pool, which is estimated at a thousand bucks a square meter. Um, and then, you know, all the way down to site furnishings where we've got numbers for chaise lounge chairs or soft seating type chairs, uh, 
cut so a little bit on custom tables and these are estimated on a uh, on a on a per per item cost of you know like twenty five hundred dollars uh, for a chaise lounge chair and again that 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 includes shipping cost uh, duty any import taxes so there's there's a lot that goes into this number of twenty five hundred dollars a piece it's not not just the cost of that, that chair so if you go back to sort of the cost estimate if we just kind of look at one specific area because I know there's uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, in this uh, cost estimate but if we just start at the the arrival court um, we can look at the beginning we've got you know roadways broken out so we, in this case we've got a, a poly pavement which is essentially an earth road uh, pedestrian paths special paving and then all of these are referenced to oops, sorry these are all referenced to uh, to the prices page. So instead of putting direct inputs in here, I'm using references back to the prices page so that, you know, within this estimate, I'm going to be using exposed aggregate concrete about 20 times throughout this entire estimate. Well, if I decide to change one thing on it, I can change it in the prices page and it automatically updates into my estimate. I don't have to go in here and change this 20 different times throughout this estimate. I simply change it once. Um, and then I've also here, this is where I can put in direct information as to how I'm getting some of these quantities. So for instance here, uh, it's a you know, four meter wide path. I've got 312 linear meters times a four meter width, and that's how I'm getting this square meters number of 1248 square meters. So it's a the way that way I can remind myself I'm dealing with a four meter path or a two meter path and come up to the the square meter cost on it um, again these prices are referenced back to the uh, prices page and here you see a, a cost between 270 a square meter versus 180 a square meter well when you look over at that spec the four meter path has to accommodate a golf cart versus the two meter path is just for pedestrian access only uh, so two very different uh, uh, costs associated with that. Um, and this goes on through the entire estimate. Everything's referenced back to the prices page and I can make updates quickly uh, and then update it throughout the entire cost estimate. And then the last thing that I do, um, each of these areas, if I zoom out on this estimate, um, again, looking at just uh, one part of the the estimate so this would be one one area within the plan all of these numbers are subtotaled here by uh, by material type so hardscape finishes site walls metals lighting landscape and this is quantified for each one of the major groups um, uh, or areas that I identified on that that graphic so then if I flip over to the summary page if you zoom here to the left hand side, you can see those areas that, uh, sorry, I'll try to zoom this in and focus it a little better uh, for you. Each of these areas are summarized. You've got the entry road, the arrival court, the hotel residences, quiet pool, two meal restaurant. So if you go horizontally across this page, you start to see totals for wood boardwalks, hardscape finishes. In this case, there's no site walls associated with this area. Uh, site lighting, landscape costs. So the areas are subtotaled horizontally across this estimate and it gives a total for each of the areas. But then it also totals, uh, sorry, it totals down the page. I'll have to zoom this out a little bit. Um, it totals that uh, down the page with the columns so that now you can look and see the subtotals for uh, the total cost for landscape across the entire project or the total cost for lighting across the entire project and then that totals over to the right and you can see the total estimate for the project which is in this case 21 21 million dollars um, for the estimate so that's how I approach it. Just a little bit about uh, you know one approach to creating a uh, rough order of magnitude uh, estimate. And again, this is just my method, but uh, I think it's been fairly effective, and I uh, hope this helps.